Welcome back, welcome back. So, this big boy is a 50 pound mystery box from Zavi. That's apparently worth 200 pound. But we shall believe that when we see it, right? So Zavi recently had a, I don't do that because my microphone's there. Zavi recently had a uh, birthday offer on and they had two boxes. I think one was thirty pound and worth hundred. One was fifty pound and worth two hundred. It apparently has three pops and two statues, three statues, and then other stuff. Now, I don't expect it to be worth two hundred pound. I expect the pops to be a five pound or ten pound pop. If I look over there, by the way, my computer's here, as you can probably see. Um, yeah. Uh, it was kind of speculative, spec, speculative in that I was, you know, if I don't want half the stuff, I can flip it. So I'm not expecting anything great. I'm expecting maybe Eagle Moss statues, because that's typical of Zavi. Possibly even the uh, bombshells I brought the other week, because they tend to try and get rid of them. Stuff that's in their sales quite often. Um, yeah, and as for the other stuff, I'm not sure. What would be lovely, of course, is if I could get at least my 50 quid back. Because I have to pay for this new camera that is right there. That now auto focuses. I have recorded videos before this introducing this camera, but this will go out before because it's such a brand new box, and it was kind of like I'm not sure if it was. Well, I'm not even sure if they're still on offer because it was a birthday thing, so it might have only been available for the weekend. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a long video. I'm expecting cheap pops. I'm expecting cheap stat statues. But I'm hoping I make. Let's say, I'm not going to say 200, Let, if I get 100 back, I'll be happy, because I need to make a bit of money, because I need to pay off the camera. Um, yeah, so, let's get straight to it, because it's going to be a bloody long video. I will check the pops on the pop directory on my phone as we go, rather than cutting it in afterwards. Um, I've opened it, I've cracked the box, I've not looked in it, I have seen one pop, I can't remember what it was, don't know how much it's worth. Uh, I, I ordered a pop with it too, so, I'm expecting... An extra pop that isn't part of the order I'm assuming they put it in this box because I don't think there's a box inside a box it's just they've just shoved it all in here judging by the random pop on top which is let's do it let's get it straight to the pops it is this so it's a really play one pop which is a film I really enjoyed actually has to be said Just in my exposure now. Try and play ball. So yeah, it's not something I necessarily collect. Is it just my exposure, or is it just my computer going dark? Just not my exposure. Anyway, so yeah, let's have a look. See how much this is worth. We will zoom for this video, so I don't take overly long. Ba 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 ba. Because if it's a two hundred pound box, come up. They said there was twenty items, which implies ten pound each. Could be wrong, but hey, probably focusing in my face. Um, let's do this. I don't even know how to pronounce this. I've seen a film, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think I would have preferred Artemis to be honest, but hey, we won't complain. Maybe she's in there as well. A E C H, and as expected with the savvy, it is. pound pop so it's starting as we expected it really the tin was a lot of items go away I think that is all the stuff that's in there I can see something to do with Star Wars but let's go pop aha so this is the pop I ordered which is crunched I completely forgot it was. I think it was on offer, which is why I ordered it. But I ordered it because there was a chance of a chase as well. But this is a very cool pop. I'm not impressed with the box condition, but because it's such a big box and it gets delivered, some people put it on its side, so it just squashes all the pops. If there's heavy stuff on that one side, and it, it's put on that side, and it's just like... So, you know, it is the bottom. It's 
not the end of the world to be honest I, that wouldn't bother me too much I was kind of gunning for the chase hoping that I might get a chase um, but yeah it's ain't no one ever going to see that even if you're if, I mean it, it looks tatty eared and it doesn't close properly but by the time you put weight on it and it's on your shelf ain't nobody ever seen it I didn't pay full price, it was on offer, so that's the one I ordered this. That is not part of this mystery box. But we'll check the price anyway, because I can't remember how much. So, Bateman. So the chase is worth £46, and he has a bloody eye. Obviously no chase sticker. And the common is £13.99, if that decides to focus. For some reason my focus is going over there and I have no idea why. There we go. There's a good boy. So yeah, not part of the mystery box, so we'll put that off to the side because it don't really count really, does it? I was just hoping. Fingers crossed that I got a chase because the bloody chase looks awesome to be fair. But I love that pop as well. I love the detail on the uh, on the jacket. Maybe I should do this as a separate video to be honest. I might put it in a different video. But for now. For those who watch, all four of you that watch this video, you get a bonus, a Brucey bonus. Okay. Damn, there is quite a lot of stuff. Quite interesting. Right, I'm not sure how many pops I can see aside from that. But let's do it, let's get stuff out. Vinnie Mates, I have no idea what this is, but it is an Aquaman. See, now this, I can't pop directory because obviously it's not in a Funko app um, so I might have to just look at Zavi and put maybe there a uh, price that it is on the Zavi site assuming I can find it on Zavi so this is a Vinnie Mates vinyl figure from Aquaman I've never seen Aquaman it I don't know why it just doesn't appeal I should probably watch it maybe it's quite good let me know if it's good but yeah that's a fun vinyl that I do not have, so I can't cry about that. Now this looks intriguing because this is a beast. Not very heavy, but it's a beast. So this is Alien. I think I would have preferred Predator for sure. I don't mind Alien. I'm not a massive fan, but I don't mind it. I mean, that looks like it could be a £20 thing at retail. Whether it is in demand enough to sell for even a tenner is another thing. I mean, that's the thing with these uh, mystery boxes. It's not so much, are they worth their value at retail? Maybe it is worth 200 retail. It's whether, if you resell it, people want it enough to pay even half a retail and that's that's the big deal which is why I'd be happy with 100 pound because if people are willing to pay half like this it's a four pound pop half of 10 pound common less than half in 10 pound common I could sell that for four pound be quite content because I, I don't think I'll keep it because it doesn't fit my collection as it were that old doozy it doesn't fit my collection um, but I'm intrigued because I can only I can't see any more pops in there but maybe they're hiding because there are supposed to be three pops and a whole bunch of statues but the statues are probably worth more to be fair and uh, possibly easier to resell than cheap pops well, that was it, there was a bunch of uh, thingies as well okay and this I kind of like I'm not a pin collector again another kind of squish box shall we get it out? maybe we'll get it out so. not sure if there's a booklet in there Oh, it's a box inside a box inside a box. No idea what that's all about. Oh, okay. It opens up like this. I don't know how or why. But that's why it's a box inside a box. But, yeah, these pins. I like pins. I don't know why I like pins, because I don't use them for anything. I like stickers. I don't know why I like stickers, because I don't use them for anything. Um, I have never... That's a lie. I have played Call of Duty. I played the World War II version. Um... Yeah, I, I like them. I mean, I don't do with them. Not exactly massively useful, but I like them. So I can live with that. I'm sure 
that would be a 10 pound thing maybe quite possibly at least i mean pins can go for 10 pound each so i would say something like that's probably they're probably class as like 15 20 pound what's the price of this heavy so yeah um again i'll put price up here somewhere let's see if we can uncover do do it so yeah part of the collection was some graphic novels um, yeah I don't mind graphic novels I've got a collection I've got to say I don't read them all that often and they are things that are typically listed as about 10 15 pound in reality you know in fact on the back it says 15.99 US dollars so what 11 pound over here in reality probably about three or four pound item but again can't complain it is now obviously going off 200 pound retail not resale so we do have more pops we have more pops that have the bottoms pops but looking far better condition okay i'm not rocking what you found so this will probably go box in okay condition there's a bit of an ear all there but yeah, I imagine it's a common. I imagine it's supposed to be a ten pound pop, but I also imagine it's probably only worth about five pound on the TPD. Let's have a look. Slick Morty. Slick Morty. Here's a. Let's click on him so it's bigger. Here's a seven pound pop. So as expected, between five and ten pound max. We have, even as not a Rick and Morty fan, one I know, a bit of box damage, but let's face it, that was always going to be the case. I kind of expected it when I realised that they were probably going to come squished because people were putting the box on its side. Um, speaking of which, I can't really see much because that's what it looks like in the box. So PX previews. Well, I can get this one out just to see what's going on. Because this looks like a return. I mean, he's literally spun 360. Okay, so that's not supposed to be glued, I don't think. I think you're supposed to set it up yourself. So, stop trying to focus on me, even though I've covered my face. Get in there, get in there. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Focus, focus, focus. There you go, he's found his eyes now. So, that's a pickle Rick. Um, yeah, random. For him to be facing that way around. I have no idea why he'd be facing that way around. Um, maybe. I mean, that's the way he fits in the box, to be fair. Because he doesn't seem to fit if he's facing. I'll put him in the stand. Let's see if I'll put him in the stand. That'd be a bit of a downer for inbox collectors, wouldn't it, if you didn't <laughs> face the inbox backwards. No, you can put them back like that. I don't know if that's a returns because the box was a bit damaged. Which is more than likely the case because that's probably why they're making all these boxes because they don't want to sell damaged boxes in case people pick off. Pit previews exclusive, which means it's probably about twelve ninety nine. No. He looks a bit beat up just because he looks like he's been squished and opened. The box condition. Could be worse, as a like I say, there's a tear there. Um, looks like just a bit of loose glue, the top and the bottom on the flap. It's not the end of the world, I reckon. Second hand, maybe nine pound. Could be completely wrong. Pickle Rick. Mmm, okay. Pickle Rick, 350, no limbs. That's the one. So, he is a 12.99 pop on Pop in a Box. He's a £20 pop on Zabby, random. Because they had her group. And he splits the difference on the pop directory at £15. So, if I got 10 for him, I'll be happy because I won't keep him. 
I might even bunch them together with Slick Morty and see if I can do a deal. Doing both for 20 or something. £2 off, but hey, I'm getting £10 each. That's making back, what, two thirds of the box? Two fifths of the box. My mass is great. Making about a third of the box, just under. So that should be all the pops, which means that the pop director is probably not of any use now. Okay, next. This is a limited edition ingot. I had to look what an ingot was actually the other day because I think I read it on the advert and I didn't know what it was. Apparently, this is an ingot. Which is just kind of like a big slab of metal with an engraving. Kind of cool. Probably worth about ten pound. We have a Jurassic Park keyring in a Japanese. I kind of like that. What it is again? I like keyrings. I don't know why, because I have no real space. Because I've got so many keyrings on my current keyring set that I can't really afford to buy more. We have Kingdom of Hearts, Mickey Moose. Cool. Be even better if my camera decided to change its exposure. There we go. So, yeah, it looks quite a bit like that. Again, no idea on price. I would say seven pound. It is vinyl. Doesn't look overly expensive. I mean, it's packaged nice enough. Should we say seven pound? Should we hide him at the back here? We have a second one, and it is a second character. It does have something floating inside. It looks like ah, it's so. It looks like a piece of his hair's broken. So again, it might be a return. I don't know if you're able to see that. I might get to crop it in because this is a 4K camera, so it's all special. Um, where's the bit that's floating? Oh, it's falling down now. But if you look at his hair, I'll try and crop it in. There is a spike missing. So, a second one of them. What did we say? £7 maybe? We have another squished box. Okay, now this I'll probably keep actually. I am not the biggest Walking Dead fan, but I did watch it, and of course, Daryl is pretty cool. Uh, it is the Eagle Master as expected, and it's only tiny, I mean it's only what, two and a half inch, three inch, but I'll probably keep this one, just because Daryl Dixon's a bit of a legend, right? I'll still let you know how much it costs, so we like, we like a Daryl Dixon. We have... A Star Trek luggage tag. Not really my bag. It's probably the least interesting thing so far for me. Just because I have no real interest in Star Trek. And yeah, I don't know why someone would go on eBay and search for that, but maybe they will. We have a set of four mugs, or three mugs, in a mug holder. I'm not a massive Star Wars fan. I have many, many mugs. Probably too many mugs. So. So that makes one big scene if you stack them. That might be, have to be a present for their brother in law. Maybe he's a Star Wars fan. Um, I'm not sure how much I appreciate it. I'll have to try and work that one out. But it is kind of cool for what it is. I'm sure an official Star Wars thing like that is probably worth. I don't know, 15, 20 pounds maybe? I'm assuming they're all good inside. Should we get it out? How long we've been? We've just been under 20 minutes. So. They are looking reasonable, Nick. They're all still shrink wrapped. No cracks in the top one at least. Yeah. That one doesn't seem cracked. This one. 
Looks good. Finally. This one too. Hey, I'll look good, Nick. They have a random one piece. It arrived to me in one piece, but would, would you want to send it by the post, via eBay, for you to sell it? Three Star Wars mugs, that's a really nice set, but again, I have more than enough mugs than I need, and I can live without Star Wars, to be honest. So, we have what looks to be mostly the uh, graphic novels left, apart from this, which is a three pack of Star Wars journals, Star Wars, Star Trek. Now, Journal is a journal. Paper is paper. Useful. So I probably won't complain. Are they dated? Are they calendars or just paper? Just paper. But probably useful. Yep. All empty. But I can probably live with that. They will come in useful. I will keep them because they're probably, to be honest, not worth selling. My camera needs to not kill the pops where it's exposure a wee touch uh, Pickle Rick's just lost another quid's worth of value so far by the way I've had no duplicates I've had nothing I already own which is kind of cool another graphic novel with decent artwork Four. And another one, Marvel Zombies, interesting, I've seen the pups but I had no idea they were actually based on a comic book, I just assumed Funko were cashing in and making any old random designs, maybe they have come since, they got a date on them, again 15.99 in terms of uh, US dollar, but again, realistically, probably about four quid, right? So. Um, amazing Spider Man, a film I enjoyed far more than I thought it was going to. Yeah, I like graphic novels, even if I don't find time to read them, just because I'm a sucker for artwork and aesthetics, and I just really like the artwork. I do occasionally read them, but not as much as I should, but then there's just not enough hours in a day, really, is there? But yeah, some of this artwork's great, some proper, nice, low-key lighting, as we would say as a photographer. But, yeah, I like it. Beautifully drawn. Another one, again I don't have it, Age of Ultron vs Marvel Zombies. Okay, great artwork, colourful, great drawing. And that's a better exposure. And finally, I believe the last thing. Not something I collect, but it's a nice coffee table book. Every ship from Discovery Season 1. If I can't sell it, it'll look good on the shelf if nothing else, to be honest. So yeah, I, I kind of like that. I mean, it's not my franchise, and not kind of the oldest in Star Trek, as mentioned. But yeah, so, £200 in theory. I mean, I can understand that if we're talking like 15, 
dollars each, so what? 10, 20, 30, 40, one under there, 50, Star Wars book, 60, pop, say 10 pound each, 70, 80, one that I dropped down there is supposed to be 15, 95, one of these that say 20, should we say, we'll be kind, we'll say 20, so what, 115, we said 17 each on these, so let's, uh, seven, so let's say, uh, let's round it up to 15, so, 130, Eagle Moss, probably going to be another, at least a tenner, so let's go 140, this thing is probably going to be a tenner, so let's go 150, this thing is probably going to be, I'm going to say a five, because I've been kind of some other stuff, so, one four. One fit five five. I bet these are probably worth about fifteen. So I'm going to be kind because I was harsh on that. Say they're fifteen. Let's go. Uh, so what? One seventy. Luggage tag. I'm just going to say five there. It's probably worth more. Uh, I've even lost track. One seven five. Kearing a couple of quid. So I'm going to say. Oh, and of course these. Which I can probably be worth another fifteen quid. These probably a tenner in retail money. I would say this box is worth more than 200 retail to resell. Would I get 100 quid for it? It would be pretty hard sale, but some nice stuff here. If I can make 50 quid back, I'll be happy just because it was kind of a, it's a good deal here to be had. And if I let it go, I'll probably regret it. And I get to make a fun video of opening it all whilst being intrigued by what's inside. So, yeah, it's definitely worth the £50 without a doubt. If you're reselling, like me, because you're not going to keep half of this stuff. Um, if you make your money back, then everything else is free. So, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm quite content with that. It's... Nothing that's blown me up. I would have liked to say, like, if I got the Predator statue, I'd have been like, <laughs> I think the most interesting thing that I got, let's say, that I am. Um, what did I do with him? Oh, Daryl, there he is. It's Daryl, it's probably the one thing that I will put on the shelf indefinitely. Everything else I could happily sell and be like, well, I don't mind if it goes because I'm not excited by it, but it's decent quality for what you've paid. And again, I will put some more prices up there if I've not left myself any time. How long have we got left? Mm, nearly 30 minutes. I best go. I was going to maybe open some stuff. But to be quite honest, 30 minute video. And this is 4K, so it's probably at up 90% of my memory card by now.